Hey everybody, it is Jason from the Text Gun Vault 2 coming to you tonight from the garage. This is actually not what I was expecting earlier today because I was at the range and I began to make a really cool behind the scenes video for you guys because I was reviewing a Knight's Armament SR25 uh, with a 16 inch barrel and 308 and shooting this, this Christensen Arms CA-10 in 6.5 Creedmoor. And I was just out here filming the range report, the garage portion of the range report on this rifle. This thing is awesome. It's a beast, but it's awesome. Anyway, I was there today at the Frisco Gun Club. And I was there by myself because my wife had to work today. And I've had a little bit of time off. And I needed to get these filmed. And... I was there for a while when I first got there again, everything set up. There were a couple of other people on the rifle range with me and then they left and I was there for a while and I got a lot of stuff done, a lot of stuff filmed. It was as an introvert. It was awesome. I didn't have other people making noise and talking and anyway, it was nice. Even though the other people that were there earlier were real nice. We talked guns. One of them had a really cool, retro uh like m16 a1 clone it was fun it was fun but when i got down to having to work and film this it was nice to be by myself and i thought man that would be awesome to do a behind the scenes uh where i was talking about what i was doing i was gonna set the camera had everything set up or my phone next to me as i was shooting and then i got through five or six minutes of this like behind the scenes video and no one had been there for 30 or 45 minutes, and then all of a sudden, somebody walks in, ruins it. Yeah, it's okay, but I thought that was going to be an awesome behind-the-scenes video. But anyway, uh, we're doing it from the garage tonight, and I'm going to tell you, this Christensen Arms is an amazing rifle. This thing is a tack driver. I didn't think I would really like this carbon fiber handguard and barrel like I do. Uh, this thing was absolutely, absolutely amazing. Uh, as I said, I just filmed the range report, garage portion, got all that edited, uploaded. I sent the link to the Patreons and to D, who is the owner of this rifle, so they can review it before it comes out. I'm getting ready to film a proper unboxing of that Walther P99 uh, Final Edition for the main channel. And that's all that's going on here tonight. Um couple things I did want to talk about, and curious if you guys had heard about it. Uh, Richard, who's another local fan and subscriber who, lend, who lends guns to the channel, him and I were talking today because I got to return that Clark Custom Long Slide 1911 uh, to him, and he's going to let me borrow a Smith & Wesson, I think it's like the folding carbine, the 9mm carbine. But he asked me today, he said, did, did you hear about Academy? Which, you know, Academy Sporting Goods. I was like, no, what, what's up with that? They have stopped selling modern sporting rifles. So AR-15s, all that kind of stuff. And I guess they're going the way of Dick's Sporting Goods. Which, you know, after um, one of those mass tragedy events, the CEO, who's kind of anti-gun, well, actually a lot anti-gun, said, nobody needs those. They're not going to sell them. They're not going to be a part of that anymore. All right, well, I stopped, you know, ever, I mean, I don't really go to sporting goods stores at all. I mean, obviously, I, I don't do a lot of sports. I don't know much about sports ball. I don't even watch sports ball. You know, I always joke with people, but it kind of is true. If you ask me to name one person, one person that plays on the Dallas Stars, which is our hockey team, the Dallas Rangers, our baseball team, or the Dallas Cowboys, I would be hard-pressed with the exception of one person, which is... The quarterback, um, Dak Prescott. Dak Prescott. The reason I know that is he lives like one town north of here, and one of my students lives next door to him. So that's how I know him. But I can't name a single other person. I don't follow sports. I don't follow sports. I never go to a sporting goods store. And a lot of people do because they go there and they buy ammo. But I stop by. I mean, I know during like those big ammo crunches, I, I might stop in there to see what they had. Um... But when Dix did what they did, I stopped supporting them. I, I have never stepped foot in a Dix Sporting Goods in years. And now it looks like 
Academy has done the same thing. Now, does it make me mad? No, and I'll tell you why. Well, they can sell whatever they they, they, they want to sell. If they don't want to make money off of gun owners, that's perfectly fine. Well, I'm not going to go in there and buy ammo or any of that, you know, ever again. But all it's going to do, because all they really sold in there were cheap ARs anyway. Let's just be honest. You weren't going in there, in there to buy a, a Knight's Armament, okay? You were, you were going in there to buy a Smith & Wesson M&P 15. But what that's going to do is all those people that were going to buy from that big box store are now going to go down to their local gun store, which I would much rather the local gun stores get the money than a big box store that is nameless and faceless. I would rather it be the people that uh, are the local businesses and all that. So um, the real gun stores are going to make more money because now there's one less place in competition. But now I've added another um, company that I don't do business with. Um, you know, there's, uh, and I, I don't really advocate for, for boycotts <clears throat> because I think they're kind of silly or, you know, organized ones. You need to spend your money because it's your hard earned money. You need to spend it where you want to spend it. Okay. So I choose not to spend my money at certain stores and I hold strong. On those okay uh, a couple of examples uh, one is uh, cheaper than dirt of course you know a gun company they sell guns and ammo and accessories and all that I will never buy from them again I haven't bought from them now in over 10 years because uh, what happened back in 2013 where they jacked up the prices and uh, price gouged I will never forgive them for that obviously I've already mentioned Dick Sporting Goods uh, a non-gun thing, and I think a lot of you guys are probably in this boat, I will never buy another product knowingly that is owned by Anheuser-Busch, okay? Uh, I know that type of political stuff is not something that we get in, into here in the channel. And even though I always say that the Second Amendment is, is for everyone, and I still believe that regardless of any aspect of you and what you are, or this or that, I don't care. Okay, the Second Amendment's for you. However... It shows that Anheuser-Busch didn't understand their, their demographic and who consumes their product. And I think also it happened in July, which everyone just gets tired of, you know, Pride Month and all that. I mean, let's just be honest. Our veterans get one day, okay? we are The men and women who have served and died, you know, we, they get one day. They get Memorial Day. That's all they get. They get one day each. You know, the veterans get one day, and those that have given their lives get one day. But yet we give an entire month. And I don't think a lot of people really care. They're like, whatever. But then when every company does it, and then the person that they hired as a spokesperson, their main audience is kids, like teenagers, and people that are below the age of, of a 21. So they're advertising to people that can't drink and people that don't buy their product and aren't going to buy their product. But anyway, all they had to do was apologize. All, all they had to, had to do was apologize. And I, and I think they, they would have gotten a lot of their, their consumers back. But they chose to double down. But anyway, that's kind of a side note and a side tangent tonight. Uh, but... Now Academy is on that list. Academy is on that list. I will never, ever spend another dime at Academy. Okay? And for the most part, I also boycott Walmart. Now around here, Walmart um, got rid of all their firearms and stuff. I think they still sell ammunition, but they don't sell what they refer to as <clears throat> assault weapon ammunition, which whatever that is, you know, pretty much it's like an intermediate cartridge whatever. So since they uh, did that, I guess they don't want my business. So I don't, I don't support them. So, uh, have you guys heard about that? And if you haven't is if you buy stuff from them or have in the past, is it going to change your buying habits? I'd like to know. And there's one other thing I do want to show you guys tonight because I was asked, I think in one of the last previous videos, Somebody asked me, how hot really is it in the garage? Because I always say, hey, it's Jason from the hot garage. And right now it's 
It was like 107 or 108 today, and man, was it hot. You cannot go out in the sun. There's so much stuff outside in my yard I need to get done. I just can't do it because this bald head, I, I fry, and I, I don't want to get skin cancer. And I, I know I can wear a hat and sunscreen, but man, it's, it's just hot. It is just so hot. It is like the sun is like five feet from your head. But anyway, someone asked me, show a, show a thermometer. Uh, how hot is it? Now, today it's not really that bad. The garage door has been closed for quite a few hours. So this garage is uh, above me is a media room. And the door to the kitchen is over here. And I think really only this wall, which um, if you're watching most of my videos, it's like to my right where I have my tools and my clock and all that. That There's a brick wall. That goes outside. And obviously the garage uh, doors go outside, and the other side of the garage is my patio, but that's covered. So really, it's the doors in this wall, and that's where the, the heat really uh, comes in from. But someone wanted to show me, or have me show a thermometer, so I said, that, I said that I would. So I'm not going to turn the camera around, because it makes the editing of this a little bit harder, but uh, behind me, you guys always know, I do have that Winchester, um, like kind of like old timey uh, thermometer, and I can see if I can show it to you here. I don't know if it's going to show up, but right now the thermometer says it is 92 degrees, 92, and I guess if you are from uh, the land down under or some other place in the world, I guess it's, I don't know, what does that be, 30, 30 Let's see, two, four, six, 36 degrees Celsius. Yeah, Celsius is weird because the differences between the um, degrees is so large. I I always prefer Fahrenheit, not just because I'm a, you know, in, in, in an American, but it's because it's a more exact, um, it's a more exact temperature scale. You know, I was always wondering. Complete different side note here. Um, obviously people say Celsius is better because zero is the freezing point of water and 100 degrees is the boiling point of water. People are like, well, what is zero in Fahrenheit measure? I read one time it has to do with the average salinity of ocean water. So it has to do with like, like, like a briny solution. That's its freezing point, which I guess was more um, advantageous to know back when you were having to navigate the world. So, yeah. Interesting, interesting thing there, but complete side, uh, side note. So that's all I got for you tonight, guys. Uh, not much else is going on. Um, I do an unboxing here of the Walther. Go edit that. So I hope you guys are having a good night. Oh, yeah, I'm wearing the glasses a little bit more. What do you guys think? Total nerd? I think I am. So anyway, let's, let's talk boycotts in the description in the description in the comment section uh, and let me know if you guys are now going to start boycotting personally uh, academy i like to know so as always thanks for watching